For people who want the latest and greatest Apple gear, the iPhone 11 is no longer a consideration. The current 14 models offer newer, faster processors and more durable design. And if you upgrade to the iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max, faster refreshing display. If you can hold out for the iPhone 15 in the fall, you're likely to see even more new features introduced with the iPhone 15 Pro lineup, such as a notch-free design and maybe even a 48-megapixel main camera. But not everyone wants to pay new iPhone prices. And if you're hunting for a bargain, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better deal than the iPhone 11. That aging A13 Bionic chip powering the phone can still handle demanding tasks, and those dual rear cameras get the benefit of Apple's computational photography features to take outstanding pictures. If the main activity you use your smartphone for is to snap photos, you're going to want to pick up an iPhone 11 rather than the iPhone SE. It's not just because the latter has one rear lens, though the ultra-wide-angle shooter on the iPhone 11 does give you greater flexibility when capturing scenic shots. Rather, it's because the newer iPhone SE still doesn't offer a night mode, making the iPhone 11 a much better option for taking photos when the lights are low. You'll also find plenty of other flagship goodies on the iPhone 11. It has Face ID, an IP68 dust water resistance rating, Qi wireless charging, and a promised 17 hours of battery life, just two hours shy of the 19-hour rating for the iPhone 14. More important than all of that, Apple is still actively supporting the iPhone 11. It's running the latest version of iOS 16 and should keep getting updates through 2025. But the bottom line here is that despite being well over two years old, so much about the iPhone 11 holds up remarkably well right now. The biggest reason for this is its processor. Powering the iPhone 11 is Apple's A13 Bionic chip. The A13 has since been succeeded by the A14 and A15. Even so, it continues to be a performance champ. With a 6-core CPU, 4-core GPU, and an 8-core neural engine, everything on the iPhone 11 should be more than fast enough. Next, we'd like to run some video and gaming on the 11 so you can see it in action. If you'd like to learn more about this or get on our iOS newsletter where we send out one email a week, check the links below in the description. For now, let's run it! The time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand.